Hi, Keith from Keith's Garage. Today what I'm going to do, I'm going to be dipping skateboards, hydro dipping. I always wanted to do some hydro dipping, I just never had really anything to hydro dip. I could do interior parts, but that's kind of, I don't know, I don't really want to do interior parts, carbon fiber like everything else. So I didn't really have anything to dip. So now the kids are into skateboarding, so I said we can dip the bottom of the skateboard. So I bought a blank board deck online. I painted the bottom white because originally I was just going to leave it natural wood color, but the uh, film that I bought, <clears throat> I got two different kinds of film here. This is a Second Amendment film. It has clear parts in it and it's supposed to be like the flag and the clear part would have been brown like wood. I didn't really want that to happen. And then we have this Santa Cruz and this guy's teeth on here are clear. So you want the white to shine through, otherwise the guy would have brown teeth. So anyway, so that, we have that, scissors to cut the film and make sure you wear gloves. And I have the activator, hydrographics activator. I'm gonna show you, show you all what we have to do when we get to it. I bought this 50 gallon tub. I'm not 100% sure if it's gonna work. It's, we're outside. Uh, there's a lot of bugs in it now. So we have to get all the bugs off there. Um, I don't know if it's deep enough. It's got these things that are gonna be in the way. I'm not sure. I mean, it might be good just for doing skateboards. I think what I'm gonna have to do is, after, after I try this dipping here, if it, if it works out, I'm going to get some dollies. And plus the water is supposed to be totally still and you can see us on the deck here it's not totally still i think i'm gonna get dollies and put this whole thing in my shop you know empty it put it on a dolly and fill it up and then when i'm done with it i can roll it out and dump it otherwise i'm not moving it um so we'll see how this works i'm not this was like i don't know 90 dollars a tractor supply so i'm not trying to get into get into it um with a lot of money if this works out and i like doing it and it comes out good maybe i'll make a build the table i saw some designs online i mean one guy had it where the water flows over the top i don't think i'm going to actually buy a hydro dip table i think that might be a little bit too much out of my budget right now for just doing a couple of skateboards here and there but we'll see we'll see water should be should be fine um, we tested it. It's about 80 ish degrees. So, all right, I'm gonna bring this inside so we can do it in, in the inside. I'm gonna cut the right size. I think we can get two boards out of this much material. Uh, I don't remember how much material is in here. It was uh, like seven bucks for this roll. <clears throat> so, anyway, let's let's get inside. I'll cut it. And I'll show you what the what the material looks like once we have it ready to go in the water. I got the uh, film here all taped off so I can just peel it up and go put it in the water. We're gonna go put it in the water, let it sit for about a minute, and then activator, and then dip it. Okay, I don't know how well this is gonna come out. I got a bunch of air bubbles. I tried, I put the, the uh, I put it down and there was a bunch of big air bubbles in it and I tried to lift it up and it um, ripped and it messed up. It's, it's not a, a good pattern right now. Anyway, I'm still gonna use it. We're gonna dip this board and see how well it comes out. <clears throat> All right, so I have the activator. Shake it up and it says <clears throat> like 12 inches away. Okay, so let's let it sit for a while. This is about 60 seconds. I think we might not have to let it sit for about 60 seconds because of um, how much, how warm that water is. We'll come back at 60 seconds and we'll, and we'll be dipping it. I'm gonna hand off the camera to this new cameraman. All right, ready? 
Isn't me nut? If I go like this, so what you want to do is, get, can you get back? Can you see me too? You want to go on an angle, so you don't get any bubbles. But there's going to be bubbles. Um, if I go like this. Maybe I can get more of it in there. I'm not sure. All right, I'm going to go this way. Ready? Here we go. Let's see what happens. Oh, it's really warm. That looks like butt right there. <laughs> like, let's let it go down. <laughs> oh, look, the wrinkles. Yeah. All right, so now, we need the hose, we need to hose this off. What are we doing? We're just spraying the water, getting our, the now extras we just off. Now we're just getting rid of this film that got screwed up. You can see it didn't even stick. Oh, there too. That's where that's where it was folded over. So I think the lesson is once it's in, don't touch it. You got one chance to put it on there. But it turned out decently for a first try. First try. Only just that little hole. That's it. If we have extra, we could try to just dip that corner again. Let's we'll see what happens. I mean, it's already messed up. I'm just trying. To, you just got to keep doing it until we get all the slime off. I feel it's slimy over here. I don't know what the slime is, but it's probably that upper. Oh uh, yeah. See, look, it didn't. See how it came apart over here? I don't think I waited. I don't think I waited long enough. All right. Take this, let it dry. We get the other board. We have it again. Uh, it's better. It's a little bit of bubbles, but it's like little bubbles. But that should be fine. Say, oh, the oh, tape! Yeah, the works. tape is coming off. Oh. Uh, Look. Okay, after putting it in the water, let it just sit for 60 seconds. So it needs to sit in there for for 60 seconds. Do you think it's been a minute yet? How long have you been recording for? Now it's been a minute. Oh, cool. look! What's this? Yeah, I just noticed that. Here we go. There's gonna be some wrinkles, but all right. Now I'm gonna do the activator. Pan out so you can see me do this. All right, about 12 inches. Activate it. It'll turn like look like glass. Oh yeah. Okay. Now. The board. Okay, ready? This is what I see on this is how I watch on YouTube. It just goes in like this. And then you shake it around. And, uh, I wrap it around. <laughs> So that's pretty damn good, look. Can't let's wait go, to skate it. Let's go rinse it off. Can't wait to shred it off again. Yeah, I want to put some clear coat on it. Second try. Perfect.
I'm, I'm glad I painted it white. Why? Because otherwise that would be all brown. Oh, look right here. There's a little mess up right here. Me. That's where it, that's where it, uh, it folded over. So I think we have to do this indoors. You know? The question is, do we do another one? Or do we wait until we put it inside? I think we wait until we put it inside. The first two are like testing. We'll draw these off and I'll take them and I'll put clear them out. And we'll probably take this on the This one's the HU5, right? Yeah. We can do Miguel's. We can do the, the tip of Miguel's. Dip that again. Double dipping. The bug from you? Yeah. I like it. Take that little piece. Take yeah, look at the difference. Yeah, well, that's first one, second try. It's still not perfect. See all these little spots? See yeah. like the word? It has, it's ripped. Yeah. It's supposed to, see how it looks like here? It's mm -hmm. supposed to look like that. That means too much activator, I think. I don't know. Not sure. Are these like little spots supposed to be there? <laughs> White things? Uh, oh, that's a good question. I don't think so. He's got one bomb. Um, you mean these little dots? Yeah. We have to look at them. Are they? There's too much activator. I watched the video where the guy did too much activator and not enough. If it's not enough activator, yeah, these aren't supposed to be there. I think. Are they? Yeah. See, they're not here. All right. So I did two boards. And let's go over the results. <laughs> I watched a lot of videos. So you can see all these dots here. I don't know if the camera picks it up, but they're smooth. They're not, they don't have ridges on the edge and you can feel this, it's just smooth. So from what I watched, too much activator. So I sprayed it too much. Um, there's wrinkles in here because the water is not still, wind blowing, us stepping, us stepping on here. Me leaning over, so this setup on the back deck is probably not the best. Probably should be, I don't know. I gotta figure something out, something out. Um, I think the water container, I think is good, good size. It worked fine for the boards. I just think maybe we need to raise it up to where it's a working level, like on a table. I mean, I can build something. It has plenty of places to support it, right? And that might help and then somehow be able to remove the top layer of water because we tried getting the old film off and let's see if you can see it yeah it got all stuck in our pool uh <laughs> pool thing so that's not good so now the pool screen has all paint in it um yeah, so I got to figure that out with the the water. I mean, it's full all the way up. What I, what I did do to, to get all of the extra stuff of it, I put the hose back in here and just let it overflow. And then I just pushed all the stuff out. Then the problem is the water is all the way on top and the film wants to slide over the top of the whole container. So we had to dump water out. Anyway, second time I, I, I did a board, so I think we, I'm doing okay. And... Like I said, too much activator on this. This side here, remember, it was a gone. So I took another scrap piece and put it here. You can still see it's really wavy right here. This is where it all bunched up. I, I got better on the second time about not getting any air bubbles in there. There was a couple, and I just blew them. I don't know if I need to do the blue tape around it. Uh, blue tape is supposed to keep it, I think, I think the blue tape is supposed to keep it from spreading out. But it seemed like it was wanting to spread that much, so I, I don't know. Maybe I do need to do that, or I don't, I don't know. I just I see everybody doing that online, so I'm just copying what they're doing. I don't, don't I really don't know what I'm doing. <laughs> but um, this one here came out a lot better. This is the second board we did, 
You can still see I put too much activator in, in some areas because it pulled up <clears throat> over here. Here, look, you know, there's some spots that look really good. But I'm like I said, I'm really glad I painted the board white because you would see wood here instead. So that looks pretty good. Um, so a skateboard, this is all gonna get screwed up. It's gonna, it's all gonna get scraped up. So whatever. It's gonna. I'm experimenting. What my ultimate goal is to get a custom board. I want to get a custom um, film of some kind of design, and then put it on the board. The other thing maybe I can do is just get like a logo and just dip dip it right in and get the, just get the logo. That might work a little bit better than trying to get these angles and stuff like that. I don't know. The other th and then also, it gets all over the, t the top of the board. Which doesn't matter, it's getting covered, but... I don't know if that... See? Perfectly went around the top of the board. I don't know if I cut it too big or what. Oh yeah, see, this is what it would have looked like if um, I didn't paint it. And it's, does not, it looks so much better painted white. Anyway another video I got the, the two other boards to do um, I just want to try these out see what see what happens and see if this was gonna be a working thing so now I know of some things to change and I'll come back and I'll do an update video on a different setup what the one one setup is I'm gonna put it inside somewhere probably inside my shop so bugs don't get in it because bugs keep falling in it and then <clears throat> it's a little bit cooler in there because as soon as I take the, the the film out outside here it's 80 percent humidity 75 percent humidity it starts the film starts just deteriorate if i left it out here it would probably just deteriorate so it lasts a little bit longer in there in the shop it won't get bugs in it and the wind won't affect it and stepping down on the ground won't affect it either but i don't know that's i'm thinking getting like i said get dollies put that thing on dollies and so i can roll it out well that's what i'm gonna do next subscribe like share um, this way you can see what's going on and how my dipping projects uh, progress. I mean, they can't get any worse than this. I mean, <clears throat> it can only get better from here. Thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next video. Bye.